Hey, it's Dr. Karras, and today we're going to go over a quick tip to help stretch out the anterior hips. A lot of people sit on a regular basis when they're at work, and it causes a lot of tension through the anterior part of their hips, leading to a lot of imbalances through the lumbar spine, through the hips, and even down into the knees and the, and the feet as well. So all you need for this one is going to be a foam roller. Now, you can get a lot of different types of foam rollers. I prefer the foam rollers that are a little bit more squishy than the, some of the other ones because it, it, it's not so painful if you do have a lot of tension in there. And so we always recommend these rollers that are a little bit more squishy. Um, this is one of our favorite here. And so when you're doing this exercise, if you have a shirt, one of the best things is to do is just to tuck that shirt into your shorts. So you can tuck the shirt into the shorts so it's not going to get in the way because that can get stuck in the foam roller. And so what you're going to do is you're going to put this foam roller on the anterior part of your hip and you're going to be working right through the anterior part of your hip. So what I'm going to do is lay right on this roller here. So right on the anterior part. I'm going to put my, my left leg out to the side as I'm working my right leg. My right elbow is going to go to the ground. And so these are going to be my pivot points. And then all I'm going to do is just start working all the way from the quads all the way to the top of my hip up here and almost to my lower part of my stomach and my abdomen. And you can work the quads all the way down to the top of the knee. And you can also start to roll it to the side a little bit in here. And so work to the side a little bit. Make sure you're hitting all the different areas in there. And if you have a spot that's very painful or tender, what you can do is you can just let it sit on there for four or five seconds and you can kind of work it through that area as well. So go ahead and work on both sides. So you switch to the other side. Same sort of thing. Opposite legs going to come out. And you're just going to start rolling through there. And so this is a great exercise to release a lot of the tension on your hips on a regular basis. And so if you sit, from, uh, sit and work from a chair at all throughout the day, a lot of people sit for six to eight hours. This is something that you definitely should start to incorporate with, with your exercise routine and your mobility routine on a regular basis. So give it a shot and let us know what you think.